Where do you go after you've hit rock bottom? I thought it was going to be jacuzzis and servants. There was a time before I did drugs and I was like innocent. She said, has anybody ever died here? I said, um, no, not really, but you come second closest. Six weeks serious rehab is no country picnic. Inside Clouds, a drink and drugs clinic, Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. The Friday special now on BBC Two, Newsnight and Newsnight Review with Jeremy Paxman and Mark Lawson. The contenders paint themselves as patriots. Will the people believe Blair's claim that true patriotism is expressed like this? Good evening. William Hague's claim that this election would become a referendum on the Euro has come true. In tackling the issue head-on, are both big parties conceding the election result is now predictable? And? An ordinary dinner party. I wonder if the government should return to the gold standard. I think the government should stay off the gold standard so that the pound can reach a level that will keep our exports competitive. The lady has foolishly attempted to join the conversation with a wild and dangerous opinion of her own. Why does this seem so strangely reminiscent of the British election campaign? We've sent the American feminist Naomi Wolf to find out. Women, know your limits. And on Newsnight Review at 11, Tom Paulin, Jermaine Greer and Paul Morley join me to discuss Can Bad Guys Make Good Art? The Artist Has Served Hitler. The new collection by Britain's best-selling comic poet Wendy Cope and new films by young Irish and Welsh filmmakers, a love story written by Roddy Doyle and a family drama starring Jonathan Price. It is, as Dr Johnson famously remarked, the last refuge of the scoundrel, so perhaps we shouldn't be surprised that today patriotism became the central feature of the election contest. Tony Blair grasped an issue the Labour command had been trying to avoid and declared that enthusiasm for the Euro was a patriotic gesture. William Haig said patriotism was more likely to be expressed by having your own currency. Either way, it's as though the parties have started the race towards a future referendum. Jackie Long reports. Yeah, can't just eat my lunch now. <laughs> There's not much time in the campaigning, not just for one election, but two. This one's not even over, but already the politicians are marking out their territory for the next big ballot facing Britain, a referendum on the Euro. In Edinburgh today, Mr Blair was in confident form. In an interview in the Financial Times, he made it clear he's convinced the public would vote yes to the single currency, provided, he said, you mount the argument well. Today, he started to make that 